Juliet, extreme reporter. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. At least that's an alarm from this century. They live. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. I am so addicted to this site. Lauren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. It feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. It's such a pretty guitar. I need to play it more. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. 
I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday and slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. <sighs> Max and Chloe. Best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day, I'll get an actual HDTV. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. I miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room.
You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Oh, Juliet, this is so stupid. Answer, you wuss. Ugh. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked you Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? You Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh yes, Juliet. Max. I've locked so Dana in the room because we're cool. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my you name at all. Ridiculous. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. If you don't let me out, I will scream. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Ugh! Those boots are made for walking runways. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care what anybody says, that's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen laptop. Let me just check to see if she posted my picture. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here.
This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. The universal symbol for please leave me alone, asshole. They live. Juliet, read this. Horse. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Dana's still a cheerleader at heart. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it, she has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. It would be a cool sticker without the words. This is both sad and pathetic. Hmm. 
must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Ooh, Dana's Facebook wall is up and running. I shouldn't look. Now I feel too wiped out to leave. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. This shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Fuck this shit. Ow! That hurt. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. This shit. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody.
So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. <laughs> 